Many Taiwanese people say that something you have to do at least once before you die is climb Yusan. But a small group of people have been up the mountain over 100 times. They are the staff at the highest building in Northeast Asia, the Yusan Weather Station. Usually, the outpost only has three people on duty. Every morning at 5 o'clock, they start sending data on the weather at the peak. The only way to get to up Taiwan's highest mountain is by foot. So everything from food to technical equipment and even building materials like metal bars has to be carried up one step at a time. It seems close, but getting to Yusan Weather Station is harder than it looks. Walking 15 hours along the precarious path cut into the steep mountainside, hikers are soon short of breath. The weather station staff have to carry all their equipment up Jade Mountain. <laughs> On this trek, we discover getting things up the peak is far from easy. At the foot of the mountain, four wheels are swapped for two feet. All the materials used to build the weather station were carried up the same way. The basic requirement for a mountain porter is a strong pair of legs. Station observer Xie Xingtian has been working on the summit for 20 years and has hiked here back and over 100 times, staying for at least a month each trip. At around 10 past 5, Japan, China and America can all see our 5 o'clock report of the temperature, mist, pressure, wind speed and direction, snow, rain and other data. There are usually only three people at the station. Xie takes the readings by himself from morning to night. Although the work is lonely, at least he can enjoy his hobby. This is what I do after work. It's a blessing. I look at the mountains, the sea, and the clouds. Every day, I look at the clouds. Meteorology is all about observing clouds, isn't it? Yusen is without doubt a nice place to visit. But would you want to live here? There's no running water, so the weathermen have to collect rain. Power is also a problem. The self-sufficient weather station must find its own source of electricity, so there are solar panels all over the mountain. This installation has 270 panels alone. It's not easy to maintain such a large area, especially when it snows. There was once 60 centimeters of snow. It took us three hours to clear. Where there's melting snow, it's more tricky. You have to climb a ladder to clear it, and it's very slippery. Sometimes the ladder wobbles and the wind is strong. When you're up the ladder, sweeping snow, and the wind picks up, you might fall. After it snows, the air is very crisp, but you still need data. So we pour hot water on it. All these have to be doused. Climbing up and down ladders is a major part of assistant Xie Hongdu's job. We specially made this protective cage so we can climb up the ladder and stand on the cage to clear the snow. The weather station staff lead a very simple and sustainable way of life. After visitors who make the trek to Yusen's North Peak have left and gone home, the people who run the station will still be here, watching over the mountain.